Another new feature in Shoemaker 2013 is the inclusion of a sports soul creation wizard. So if I select this tool, we can see that it creates the upper and lower bite lines as before. I'll just turn off the view of the panel pieces and we can see that it's created its draft line positions. These as before can be swapped with our own uh, custom lines that I've already created on a level. So if I select the upper tool and then reselect my bite line created and the two and click OK, we can create a custom prototype sole. I'm going to turn my panels back on. We can see our sole unit as it will look on the model. Now, the new features within this, the editor for the Sports Soul is that if we select the item, we get up again our editor and we get up our graphic for wrapping onto the Soul unit. But as we see, the old toolbars have disappeared. So if we go into the Edit Soul profile, as before, we can choose whether we edit the bottom position of the Soul unit. So we can do this by grabbing and moving the points around. We can then flick onto the side views as before and we can choose whether these are the inside or outside side profile are linked to one another. At the moment they're linked so I'm just going to move a position and when I'm happy with a position for example you can see how the model will change in the top view window and then we click to accept. If we then move the model around, to access more editing features we double click on them onto the sole unit with the left mouse button and this brings up an editor. And we can now alter things like the sole thickness shown in the dark blue, the lateral distance of the sole unit from the last, so taking into account the material used, the welt thickness shown in the light blue, the filler material showing the, dif the, the difference between the last bottom and where the sole bottom starts and the fillet radius shown around the edge. So if we increase some of these values we can show the difference. So if I increase the welt thickness, so increasing to come out from the side of the last and maybe the, the round on the fillet on the bottom of the last and just apply we can see that the, the thickness has increased and also the radius applied to the bottom of the sole unit. We can still split the sole unit up if I double click again. We can choose not to split the image up or as default we split the sides and the bottom so we can have a graphic on the bottom and a graphic on the sides or we can split down the center so we have inside, outside and the base or we can again as before use the sliders to split the sole unit up into of the side wall of the sole unit up into many sections again we can move the position identifying where the sole unit would be split so we'd split here across to here to here and we can apply graphics in all these positions I'm just going to leave it on side and bottom and go OK Okay, as the side is separate, it can be selected separately to the base and the colors can be applied separately. So for example, on this model, we might want to go for more of a white color. We can drop this color on and have a white side. And if we go to the base and select the base, we can then use the image wrap toolbar finding an image from our files and we can using the new toolbar for controlling the graphics we can pan it around 
identify the edge positions and do a scale and if we move just slight from the edge position we get the rotate option once we have the graphic positioned as we desire we can press the wrap button and wrap the graphic to the bottom of the sole unit thus giving a, a quick visualization of the upper with sole units to get a quick idea of how the model will look